morning everyone it's saturday <clears throat> april 14th 2018 i hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the ward what a lovely day it is here in north jersey the sun is shining it's in the 60s uh yesterday we had like a heat wave almost here and it went up into the 80s it was it went from one extreme to another but um I hope we get a little bit of spring before summer. It's always nice to have those um, uh, comfortable temperatures. I have uh, a couple of devotionals for you today, but first I would like to see the Our Father. So please join me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Father, for this day. Okay, this one is called For the Lord, and the reading is from Colossians uh, 3, verse 23 and 24, and it says, Whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the Lord, rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward. Are you being called upon to make... Uh, challenging sacrifices. There are times when you may be required to take on jobs or responsibilities that are difficult or you deem beneath you. And you may be tempted to nurse a bad attitude. But don't. Right now, there's nothing more victorious you can do than to give your best effort for the Lord. Your mindset about what you have to do makes a tremendous difference. Yeah, you know, when you go into something hating it, um, it makes it more difficult to do because now you've added more resistance to what is is ultimately um, facing you. You know, you have to do it. And if you add a bad attitude onto it, it makes it harder to do it. Um, it directly affecting your task but also impacting eternity. Why? Because one day you will stand in the presence of Jesus and be judged for what you've done and how you've honored him in what he gave you to accomplish. Um, you know, you have to keep this in mind as you go about your day. You may have many unpleasant responsibilities to take care of, but do them joyfully for God, knowing that he will reward your loving obedience. That change in perspective alone will make all the difference in your day and also in your eternity. And a prayer we can say is, Lord, whatever I'm called to do, I will do it joyfully and with excellence, knowing that I am serving you. Amen. And this one is called Stop, Look, and Listen. And the reading is from Psalm 62, verse 1. And it says, My soul waits in silence for God only. From Him is my salvation. Growing up, I recall hearing my first grade teacher remind us repeatedly to stop, look, and listen before crossing railroad tracks. You hear the railroad? You hear the train passing? Only God could do that. That was before we had flashing red lights, warning bells, and those long arms that swing down and block entry onto the rails. Of course, her purpose for this caution was for our safety. But through the years, I've often pondered the wisdom of her words. No doubt, our impulse to hurry rather than fully assess a situation can harm us terribly. 
We have to be careful because with every passing year, it seems life accelerates a bit more. So when you're in a rush, consider, what am I missing by moving at such a pace? By rushing through life, you may forfeit the best of what God has for you. The blessings of his presence, godly friendships, and a strong family, and worst of all, his will. Do not make that mistake. Stop waiting in his presence. Oh, excuse me. Stop by waiting in his presence. Look for his activity and leading and listen for his direction. And a prayer we can say is, Lord, I will stop, look, and listen for your instruction. Thank you for keeping me safe and leading me to life at its very best. Amen. Yeah, really nice devotionals today. Um, and uh, on that, I'd like to wish you a beautiful day in the Lord. Uh, I um, want to let you know that I I will pray for you if you need it. I have an, an ongoing prayer list here. And uh, every day I add names to it. And um, I present your name every morning before the Lord and ask him to answer your prayer, if it is in his will. So if you need prayer, you can always email me or uh, type in the comment that you need some prayer. I don't need to know what your situation is because the Lord knows. And on that note, I'll just tell you to have a beautiful day. I remind you that I love you. Jesus loves you. I don't ever want you to forget how much he loved you. He died for you so that you could have eternal life. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.